Hello guys and uh, welcome back to the Extended Pentagon Challenge. Uh, this is uh, part 18 and uh, last episode we finished up in Indonesia as we uh, won the uh, title on the final day uh, from uh, Burrito Putra and Arema and uh, and uh, so we went off into the kind of uh, wilderness of, uh, of unemployment and was looking for uh, jobs um, I had a few interviews which I, I didn't get and uh, and ended up for, uh, actually uh, landing here at Football Club Melgar in Peru in uh, Arequipa, Peru now we are and uh, so looking forward to starting uh, you know, a South American uh, campaign. Uh, I was actually looking for a, an Asian job but uh, in the end there didn't seem to be many about that I would want to take or the ones that I would want to take uh, didn't seem to uh, want me so what does that tell you uh, perhaps. Um, I was just looking at uh, Alandres Salazar if you just look at his profile um, we can still see that he's continental reputation 85% not really sure 100% sure what that exactly means um, because obviously you'd think with the kind of track record that he has he would already have uh, you know, a few more suitors uh, wanting his services however maybe it's because we've only won really uh, you know I think the, the biggest competition we've won is is the AFC Cup uh, or maybe even the Indonesian Championship um, which are about one and a half star rated uh, competitions so maybe that's the reason I don't know uh, hopefully um, you know in, in reputation can improve. This gives us an outside chance, really, of, uh, of because Peruvian teams obviously can make it to the Copa Libertadores, which is the equivalent of the Champions League in uh, South America. It potentially gives us an opportunity to uh, to win our first real major major trophy. Um, that we you know we are looking obviously to win all five uh, Champions Leagues that we can. Anyway. Melgar, um, not having the greatest of seasons, if I just show you that quickly, um, they are, the, the other thing I, I actually am not too um, aware of is how this league actually works, um, so basically the first phase, I think the first 12 teams is it, or how does this work, so you've got 8 and 8, so 14 of the teams go through, but that doesn't make sense. So maybe I don't know how this. I don't. Know, I don't know how this exactly works. This league. No, sixteen teams. Sorry, sixteen teams go through. There's sixteen teams. Okay, so everyone gets through, and then uh, goes through to the second phase, um, whereby then um, you know I guess uh, you know we we t take on some of the points that we we accrued in the first in the first uh, phase. Thirty games played. Okay, so that makes sense. And then you go into the second phase where. Obviously, we're trying to accrue more points. And you can see there's a big gap. We've got Alianza in our in our group. They are pretty dominant, or they have been pretty dominant. So we've got Cesar Vallejo, which again won have won the division uh, from this side, and Juan Horik. In fact, if I go uh, through, I can't remember the last time someone won it that wasn't. Uh, so what about Universidad de San Martin? Are they on the other side? Yeah, so Universitario and Sa Universidad de San Martin and Cienciano probably aren't a bad side either. I'm presuming they've won it. No, they haven't. They haven't won it. In fact, I don't mean they've ever won the, the title. Wow. Anyway, I've heard of them actually. I've heard of Cien Cienciano. Last season we finished third. This season we are in a paltry sixth in phase A. And uh, pretty much any chance we might have had to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, you know, um, well, pretty much any chance we might have had to, to, uh, you know, be in that final game because I presume this then goes to a final uh, game. And there's a league table as well, so I think probably all the team. If you finish in the bottom, uh, bottom three, uh, two places, then you're relegated. So I, I don't really know how this all works. But I think there's some point there is a final uh, that takes place. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, actually, thinking, is there any cup competitions? No, no, no. It doesn't. So there seems to be one trophy in Peru. It's a two-star rated tournament. It's so potentially the biggest tournament we could we could win. Um, but yeah, so we've. We're in, we're in, uh, we're in Peru now, and uh, let's see how we go. Um, let's just look at the squad, uh, the squad report. So, 
we've got um, Jorge Bazan seems to be you know, a really good player uh, probably one of our better players um, he looks pretty pretty decent I guess for this level uh, you know he's he'd be a leading player for most most teams uh, Danielinho who's on loan he looks pretty good uh, he's a four star rated player he would be a star player um, uh, striker I, this, see this guy doesn't strike me as a striker he's just not got the finishing ability um, so potentially that's one area where we've got a potential problem Gallego who's also on loan um, doesn't to me seem like again another striker um, so the striker potentially is an issue got Arnel Bergazzo in defence he looks for like a very good um, a very good uh, centre back uh, for this level um, you know top top centre back actually for this level so he's a good player to have we got um, Emmanuel Di uh, Diandaris um, club captain uh, actually a club legend um, so Clearly, I think he's probably been with the club for uh, yeah, he's been with the club all, all his life. Uh, looks like a decent player. He's only 26, and again, so I think our centre back pairing looks very solid. Uh, and we've still got William Pano, who's uh, can play right back, but again, would be a good uh, good centre back as well. So defence looks pretty good. Um, Hugo Seminario is another right back. So again, so we've got we've got some good players in the team. Uh, left back, so Arnold Bagazzo seems to be the only left back at the club. Uh, that is a problem. Um, so potentially we might have to uh, look at uh, whether we can bring in a left back at some point. Um, not really sure about the so registration opens in January. Presumably the league will have finished by then. I think it's a year-round league, so it probably starts early in the in the year and ends late in the year. So yeah, starts on in January. And ends in in November, so that's quite quite nice. Um, not not much time off. Um, I, oh, sorry, starts in starts in February technically. We were in the Club Libertadores actually. We um we actually got through to the group stages. Um, and uh, let's see if we can actually. Uh, so San Lorenzo won it. Can we see the stages? Can we see last year? Uh, probably not. I'm thinking. Uh, how do I? How would I look at the stages? So all the way back. We could do it this way. I'm not really happy about doing it this way. Group A. Anyway, let's just look at the. I, I don't think we made it through. And we can tell from this where we made it through. So we. Lost to River Plate, one would expect that. Uh, lost to Corinthians, quite a tough group actually. Lost uh, to Caracas, beat Caracas at home, lost to Corinthians away, lost and drew to River. So there's no way we went through that group. The season's been very mixed. Um, this poor run didn't help them. Uh, neither did this this one that we're currently in really. And there was a huge run here where you know they didn't get a win for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven games without a win uh, between uh, the end of May and the, pretty much the start of April. So, um, club that's probably in a bit of crisis at the moment. So uh, obviously they've got rid of their manager uh, to try and rectify that. Um, if I just look at information, and so we're, we're predicted to finish seventh in a league of seven, what, 16, 16 teams. So we're not too bad, not too brilliant, um, really, as a as a as a club. Uh, estimated value of the club: two point six million. Pretty big, um, reasonably so. And I know I actually looked up them up, and they're one of the oldest clubs in a in a in Peru. Wage budget um, not too good. Current wage total already above the the our wage budget, so we'll have to look at that in the off season. I think at this point though, um, the only thing that I'd like to look as well is the window. So our window will be between January and March. Our next one, and we've just missed out on our current window. So August to September. So pretty big winners they've got in 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 amongst the uh, the actual um, league. Um, so I'll be looking to see who I can shift on, who can, who I can, uh, who I can uh, uh, effectively uh, 
well, who I can shift on, obviously, who I can, who I can bring in. And so looking at this, it's a championship playoff match is played if teams finish joint top with same points. So I presume that Alianza will win the title this season unless Cienciano um, can uh, can obviously, uh, or maybe not, maybe it's actually Cesar Vallejo who would then force a, force a, uh, uh, a playoff. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know why this splits in two. I think it might be uh, re regional. So um, I, I think Alianza from Lima, Cesar Vallejo, I don't know where they're from, Castal, Municipal. Yeah, I don't know whether they're from Lima or any, yeah, or whether these guys are from somewhere else. I know we're from Arequipa, which is another big city in Peru. Um, so uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, move on. We've got a live com today. It's against uh, Municipal, who are do having a better season than we are. They actually, uh, when I was at uh, Percy Pura, this was a club who actually came to us looking for uh, whether we'd like the manager's job uh, quite a few times. So um, same tactics as before. Um, because uh, well, they seem to work last time, so why uh, why spoil a good thing, so to speak? We probably have to avoid getting relegated. That's one thing. We're only ten points off that, so I do want to uh, obviously avoid that at all costs. Um, so into our first game as uh, as uh, yeah, some some guys have obviously been a. Uh, been uh, been taking a, a bit of a piss uh, of me taking this job, so I'm uh, not not too pleased with that. As you can see, the 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 uh, the morale's not good. Padrino up front, he's probably the best we got. So let's uh, let's use him. Bazan on the left, Tiago in the centre. He looks pretty decent. Uh, U Carlo Uquayaga. Uh, on the right, he doesn't. Well, he looks not bad, not bad, not bad anyway. Danielino and De La Haza, um in that defence midfield uh, role. He's a bit old, this guy. Um, Arno Belaga, um, Bigazo on the left, the only left back we've got at the club. Emmanuel Diodares, William Pano, and Seminario, and Angel Azarin in goal. <coughs> Again, not too bad, not too brilliant. So uh, let's go off to the uh, the game, and uh, hopefully we can pull off uh, a mini upset against uh, Municipal and get some of that morale back up. Um, you know, it'd be interesting. I've never ever managed in a in a, um, in a, a Peru before. Um, it's um, <coughs> I think I managed in Argentina. I don't even know even know if I've ever managed in in, in Brazil before. Um, it's a bit of a daunting uh, thing. Uh, key, yeah, good. And so let's go to the match. We are in red and black. They are in blue, and uh, we are kicking off uh, left to right. So Castrolon, long ball, but can't find his man. Pagazo picks it up, and uh, mm, highlights are few and far between in this game. At the moment, still nothing. God, what a bore! This is probably the most boring game ever. Jazzy shoots, and Azarin can pick that up. Not a great free kick, really. <coughs> Azarin looking for a, a player in a black shirt. Bazan can't win the header. Cavasco, Hernandez, Hernandez on the ball from Municipal. Lazada, Lazada to Castillon, Castillon to Arayavai. Ortiz, Ortiz back to Castrillon, Hernandez on the wing, Savasco, Savasco into Ayarave, Eduardo Antonio with loads of space, can he do anything, into Ayarave, slots home, was he not offside, no, that's 1-0, and uh, looks like form's not uh, not improving with uh, with my take over here, it's uh, been so poor so far, um, I think we obviously need to uh, need to spice this up a bit because at the moment we've created nothing. They haven't created much, but they've got a goal, and uh, we're one 0 down in our first game. That is a disappointment, and uh, let's try and g people up. 
I think the lack of a striker, that's something I need to resolve. Need another left back at the club as well. Um, because, you know, having one's, you know, ludicrous. The end are is uh, to Pano, and that's the end of that highlight. Hopefully, there'll be more this half, otherwise, it'd be a very dour game. Rubo clears. That's only as far as Bagazzo. Bagazzo on the ball. Back to Diandares. De La Hatha. Fiago. Fiago to Bazan. Bazan to Bagazzo. Bagazzo inside to Danilio. Bazan. Bagazzo. Danilinho. De La Hatha. Pedrinho. Inside. Uriquipa. Urigaga, whatever. Whatever his name is. Good chance, <coughs> but uh, no goal. And uh, Rubo on the ball to Ayorave to Jazwai, Sevasco, Sevasco inside Ayorave. Oh, it's going to be an own goal! It's going to be an own goal. He tried to clear uh, the ball from uh, their striker Ortiz, and it's ended up in the back of the net. And this is turning into a bit of a disaster. Game first game up. George Bazan, I uh, don't even have anyone to remove, I uh, don't even know to bring on, Gallego, let's bring on Gallego up front, let's, uh, Gene Kamahara, yeah he'll have to do Danilino off, let's go to Kitchi Attack, oh no, let's, Seminario, Begazzo, Seminario, Kamahara, De La Haza. Pegaso, Thiago, Bazan, oh great save, great save, let's go Kitchi attack, Thiago, and away, and still 2-0 to uh, Municipal, so let's see if changing to Kitchi attack did anything, No, it didn't. So we lose the, that game, two 0 Probably a lot of work to be done. Um, that's probably for sure. Oh, why did I say that? I don't know why I said that. Oh, I was in, in autopilot then. Um, oh, that's bullshit. Uh, anyway, that's all I need to do. Anyway, we'll have to resolve things uh, when I come back. Uh, two 0 Final score. We'll see how things go. And uh, and yeah, so I'm now in Peru. Hope you enjoyed uh, episode 18, and I'll be back uh, in Peru uh, for episode 19. Well, I'll probably pick up sometime through the next season. I'll show you all the transfers and everything else. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.